you have to have a team captain, in a sense, that brings everyone together. And we've been truly blessed to have Harry Reid as our leader through all of this. This has been as difficult a task as I've seen in my 30 years in the United States Senate. And we're not done yet, obviously. We have work to be, uh, to be achieved. But this is a major hurdle that we will overcome in the coming days here when this product moves from the Senate uh, to the conference with our colleagues in the House of Representatives. So today we stand ready to pass a, a bill into law that finally makes access to quality health care a right for every American, not a privilege for a fortunate few in our country. This month, 69 years ago, Franklin Delano Roosevelt outlined four freedoms. The freedom of religion, the freedom of speech, the freedom from want, and the freedom from fear. And one of the great fears that Americans have lived with for generations is the fear that their child, their spouse, a loved one, they themselves will be hit with an illness for which they cannot receive treatment because they can't afford it, they can't see a doctor because they can't afford it. This bill does not guarantee you'll never get sick. It doesn't guarantee you're not going to die. All we're trying to do is to guarantee that if you are a fellow citizen of ours and you are struck with illness or a loved one is, that you'll never again have that fear that you'll end up losing your home, your job, your retirement, your life savings because you've been afflicted by an illness through no fault of your own, that we are dealing with the freedom, that rational freedom that all Americans have that one day they will suffer the dignity or indignity of not being able to afford the care for their family and loved ones. The bill frees Americans from the fear that if they lose their jobs they'll never be able to find insurance again. The bill frees Americans from the fear that if they get sick they won't be able to afford the treatment they need. This bill frees Americans from the fear that one illness, one accident, could cost them everything. They said their homes, their life savings, absolutely everything. If a nation founded on freedom and sustained by unimaginable prosperity, this bill is long overdue and is critically important. This goal or cause of ours is older than most of us who serve in the United States Senate today. Our path has been illuminated by a torch lit a long time ago and sustained for decades by good men and women who believed in FDR's vision of a nation free of fear. The man who carried this torch as long and as proudly as anyone here <clears throat> is with us today only in spirit. Ted Kennedy never expected that he or we could cure all of society's ills in one fell swoop. That's why over the years he and I and so many others fought together to make our country a little bit better, a little more secure, a little bit freer from those fears. Ted Kennedy and I have fought for the Family and Medical Leave Act, the Patients' Bill of Rights, the Children's Health Insurance Program. He saw our efforts at broader health care reform fall short under Pre President Nixon and President Clinton. But with every step forward and every step back, Ted Kennedy never stopped believing that in the wealthiest country in history, everyone should be guaranteed access to decent health care. And he never stopped believing that in the freest country in history, it would someday come to pass. That someday is upon us. We are prepared to pass legislation guaranteeing that no American will ever again go broke because they got sick. No one will die because they couldn't afford the treatment they needed. This moment and these moments do not come often. We will not and we must not let it slip through our hands.